Hello, this is Jerry Spinelli with the University of California Cooperative Extension of San Diego County. Today I want to talk about hydroponics with the Cracky system, particularly how to grow longer term crops like tomato. We have seen already in another video how to grow lettuce and basil with the Cracky system. There's another video about how to make a one gallon bottle with a cracky system to grow again lettuce and basil but today I want to talk about my experimentation with these cherry tomatoes that I put in a 16 gallon tub like I've shown in the other videos for the for the cracky system and uh, I planted it on 7 19th uh, today is 8 15th so we are about 25 days into the cycle and uh, the problem is that the tomatoes are a longer term crop and so they use the water faster they don't get to the end of the cycle um, as the water as the tub runs out of water so what to do to i communicated with dr cracky and i said well dr cracky can we can we add water to the tub and he said yes you can um as long as the water level in the tub doesn't increase by more than an inch and you can see that the level down there it's pretty low now so probably i'm due to refill it and so and so i said well all these researchers give us all these rules um, um give us a break so i said well if he says one inch maximum three inches will be fine so this other tub i added three inches of water and this is the result so um yeah my plant died so who who would have thunk who would have thunk that these um scientists are right so today i want to show you how much water you can add um, to these tubs uh, to be on the safe side to replenish that water replenish that solution uh, to keep harvesting tomatoes without killing uh, your plants and we're gonna talk about how to do it in these um, 16 gallons tubs here that I have there for the cracky system and we're gonna talk about how to do it with this big 38 gallon tote that I have where I have two peppers growing and how to do it with this other smaller tote that is a 27 gallon tote and you can find these totes at some uh, um, mysterious home improvement store whose name shall remain untold but I hear that is a big depot like store where you can buy stuff for your home um, okay so how much water should we add what's the maximum amount of water that we can add to these containers to not to kill our plants so I calculated that for the large for the large tote for the large tote for the large 38 gallon tote we can add two gallons of water to keep to keep the increasing level of water level below one inch that's what cracky said so then you can see the water level in here went down already substantially and then in the smaller tote in the 27 gallon tote we should add about one gallon one gallon and you can see that the water level in this one went down a lot more i'm guessing because the plant is a lot the tomato plant grew a lot faster than the peppers so again you can add two gallons not more to this tub you can add one gallon not more to that tub 
and to this other tub to the 16 gallon tub where I have this tomato again the maximum amount of volume of solution that you can add is two gallons and the way I suggest you do this is every week you check your water level if it went down too much you add your water probably with these quantities you will not have to add um, two gallons or, or one gallon every week so maybe every other week depending on the weather and depending on how big your plants are okay now we're in the shed and we're making the five gallons of solution to replenish our hydroponic tubs and we're gonna use this five gallon bucket that turns out does not have a five gallon mark which is great but i made one so the five gallon mark is this is this second color not the first one that is right the broom the second color here is the five gallon mark and then i'm gonna use this other bucket then to measure one gallon and two gallons um, when i've when i've made the solution to 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 pour it into the tubs um, we're gonna use this fertilizer the chem grow tomato formula we're gonna use this for the peppers only for the peppers also don't tell anybody and uh, and for the tomatoes of course and um, we are gonna use also calcium nitrate and we're gonna use also magnesium sulfate and this is the formula the recipe that um, chem grow gives us and of course you can see that's uh, uh, based on 100 gallons of water because this is intended for commercial industrial um, production but i have recalculated the quantities for only five gallons and here they are we're gonna need 0.4 ounces of chem grow tomato formula 0.4 of calcium nitrate and 0.25 ounces um, of magnesium sulfate and this will give us enough fertilizer to make these five gallons of solution we hope you enjoyed this video and you found it um, useful and instructional and we'll see you in the next video again this is jerry spinelli with the university of california cooperative extension of san diego county thank you very much